welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Today we're at Matlin Middle School. We have a Holocaust survivor, Werner Reich, and he's speaking to the sixth grade population, which is over 200 students. He's discussing the relevance of the Holocaust, and he's making the connection between the Holocaust and bullying. And the connection that he made uh, was almost as if he stated that the Holocaust was um, this tremendous bullying campaign, and how it started small and grew. And what he's able to do is with this media-focused generation that we have, is he shows these beautiful still photos, some of his own personal photos, and I think archival photos, in addition to some data and statistics. And he brings to light um, what the Holocaust actually was and how it spread. He's able to connect this to the children's everyday life because of the bullying that is going on in our present society. And he goes as far back as uh, Kitty Genovese, and then he brings it right up to current day where children are cyber bullied and nobody does anything about it. Jews were thrown out of their homes and then Jews were jailed in camps and in ghettos. And the good people did nothing. He doesn't like to call them bystanders. He likes to call, refer to them as the good people that do nothing. And after hearing how the good people did nothing and how they basically allowed the Holocaust and this atrocity to occur, if they feel that, oh my gosh, I'm a bystander, I'm going to actually allow this to happen, I have an equal part in this, maybe they will stand up. And they don't necessarily have to do something themselves. They'll go, they'll tell an authority figure, and he does, he mentions that. Tell a teacher, tell a counselor, tell an adult. Get some friends together um, and stand up for what's right. All these kids had friends. All seven of them were bullied. And all seven of them committed suicide. They're all dead. The Nazi party itself was a very, very small party. They, were, they, went, uh, they didn't have many members in 1933. And the vast majority of the people in Germany were not Nazis, but they didn't do anything about it. And that's why this very small number of people managed to succeed. And they succeeded beyond the wildest dreams of anybody. The, uh, basic idea is when we talk about the Holocaust that it happened, it's something that happened 70 years ago in Germany, 3,000 miles away, and therefore there is absolutely no relevance to what is happening in the United States and that the Nazis were cruel people who could do whatever they wanted to and we uh, has no bearing on the United States, but this isn't true. Yet it wasn't too long ago when we had signs like these all over the United States. And we had signs like these. We used to persecute minorities in this country, starting with the minorities that got off the boats in the 1800s. We treated the Chinese laborers who we're working on the railroads as inferior, and of course we treated the blacks as inferior, and we made it very clear in the South that uh, they had their place in the community, and their community under no circumstances could mix with the white community. In the Jewish tradition, there is a saying that he who saves one life acts the same as he who saves the whole world. And these people actually saved whole worlds of people. Now that he showed us that how much uh, one person standing up for someone can do, it will really, make, it will really uh, make me think next time when someone is being bullied to stand up for the person. If I see somebody bullied, I will stand up for them. And if not, I will go and tell an adult what is happening in 
this situation. The Holocaust um, is just bullying on a bigger scale and it's just the same bullying model for every situation. I don't want them to feel sorry for me. That's the last thing I want. I don't want them to feel sorry. They shouldn't because I am extremely lucky. I'm luckier than millions of people who died. So nobody should feel sorry for me. That's the last thing.